Hey everyone, Bigwood Farmer here, and uh, I'm just, just going to make a quick video how to get GZ Doom working with the new mod Voxel Doom. I recently read that Voxel Doom has been released, and uh, I was very happy to hear that because I'm a gigantic fan of Doom and played it uh, when I was much younger a lot, and I still like it uh, today. So uh, we're going to just jump right in. So the first thing you'll need is a GZ Doom. So you just go to zdoom.org and uh, it used to be called zdoom but they recently ch uh, stopped development of zdoom and just renamed it to gzdoom that is a current release here from the 4th of July in 2022 so quite um, yeah quite actu uh, quite actual quite up to date uh, so yeah just uh, give that a give that a download and um, download that to your computer. Once you've downloaded, unpack the files to a directory. I just r use the default directory here with uh, GZ Doom and then the version number Windows 64-bit. You can rename it to anything you like. And then what I did is... Uh, actually, let's um, let's do that again. Let's, uh, let's get rid of this. Uh, I'll just show you. So I downloaded it to my cloud. So this is it. So we're just going to copy all the just gonna call this g z doom make it quite easy bam paste all the stuff in there now it's unpacked i p copy and paste it out of the zip file into a directory so now it's not compressed anymore and i could run g z doom so now it's complaining that it cannot find a wad so what is a WAD or an IWAD? A WAD file is essentially just where is all the data created by ID software way back when in 1993 when they created Wolfenstein and Doom and Doom 2. And these files contain all the data required to run Doom. So the textures, uh, the sprites, uh, the sound effects, the music and everything is packed into this WAD file. So these wads files are actually still under copyright originally so but if you want to have a wad file you have to buy the game so this is done by going to steam typing in doom 1993 and then you can see it for one dollar and uh, one euro and 24 cents currently on sale for 75 cent uh, 75 percent off so very affordable add that to cart buy it because it is definitely worth your money and once you've bought it and downloaded it, you have to go to your um, Steam folder where your Steam library is. This might be on your C in your underneath your C program files. Some people have the Steam library directly here, just like that, and have uh, common are their library here under C. I have mine on my D drive, my Steam library, and look under Steam apps in common, and then I find Ultimate Doom. And here, under the folder base, you find a Doom wad. So what you do is you copy that by either pressing cont uh, Control c or right-clicking on it and pressing Copy. And you paste that in your Doom, GZ Doom folder. And then you just click Restart on the application. Bam! There you go. You've started. So we're just going to start the first mission. And we're going to just turn the sound and music down a little bit so you guys can hear what the hell I'm talking about. So this is Doom with 3D mouse movement, which is amazing. You used to just be able to move like this and then move your with your arrow keys like this and strafe. That was the only movement that was allowed in Doom. But now with the mouse here, you have a lot of freedom. My mouse is very, very sensitive, so I'm just gonna turn down the sensitivity to 50% of each. Check the display options. OpenGL, okay. Oh, Vulcan. I have an AMD graphic card that supports Vulcan, so I'm definitely gonna do that. Ooh, okay, so this texture filter definitely makes it look a little bit smoother. 144 FPS is more than enough for my monitor. Okay, so this looks a lot better. So, now I'm going to quickly explain to you how sprites work. So, most objects in Doom are sprites. So, this body on the ground, see, if I look right down at it, you see it's flat. So, but what it does is whenever I walk around it, it turns to face me to give the illusion 
of a 3D object, but it's not actually a 3D object, just like these armor bonuses that I'm just picking up. Or this barrel, is, it works the same way. So if we look at this barrel, can I actually jump on this one? But you can tell, right? You can tell they're flat objects, especially when you look down at this body. So what Voxel Doom should do, it should make these objects actually 3D, which would be amazing with the Voxel technology. So we're going to look at that. Um, I think I've downloaded it already but I don't remember where I put it. No big deal. We're just going to download it again. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, let's click that link. Then we should be able to get another download going. No? Okay, we're just going to try that again. Hello? Yes, you can do that. Come on, let me download this file, please. <laughs> Have I downloaded it already? Is it in my downloads folder? What's going on? Oh, there we go. Perfect. And we're just going to download this directly into the G GZ Doom folder. There we go. We're done with that. Bam. So we're going to go back to our GZ Doom folder. And there is our file. So we're just going to quickly check the README. It says installation. Place the file in the GZ Doom folder. Drag the file onto your GZ Doom EXE and select a WAD file to run. Okay, I think I only have one WAD WAD file, so there is no option. But I'm just gonna do this. So I'm just gonna drag the zip file with the left mouse button onto the EXE. And. <coughs> Don't know if this actually worked. Let's have a look. And it did. Look, the barrel is no longer flat. It's actually a real 3D object. That is amazing. So let's have a look at the ooh, the corpse here. Mangled corpse definitely is 3D. Look at that! That actually looks like a body of another marine just flat on his face. Wow! Okay! So that was successful. So this is looking... Uh, this is looking pretty awesome. So we're gonna just restart this game and just get it a little bit more difficult. Uh, because we want to have a little bit of a challenge here. Kill these two guys and then grab that shotgun right away. Oh my god, down. <laughs> That's like cheating! Oh. Amazing! Press this button. So we want to get out to this armor. Oh, look at that. There's a whole bunch of dudes over there. So the way enemies work is like all these guys that shoot bullets, they're instantly so there's no ballistics in Doom. Whenever they shoot, they hit you. It's called a hit scan attack, as I remember. So they're quite dangerous. Oh, hello. Ow. Hard in the face. But then you can see the projectiles from the hits that are set set when they're shooting their rock their fighter balls down. They're 3D objects. Or they were ob they're sprites too, but now they're 3D objects. That can be easily evaded. You can't evade bullets, but you can evade those. That was an obvious secret. The wall was in a very, very different uh, color scheme than the rest of the walls around. It. It's definitely something to look for when you're playing Doom. So you can see that it's brown, and then you can walk up to it, shoot it, or touch it. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so this is already in the exit. Oh, wow! Okay, we're, uh, we're just gonna show you one last secret before we hit that exit button. We're just gonna run over here. You see that this is opened up. And when I walk over here, you see there's some movement back there. Another elevator to another secret area. 
We're just gonna collect some of these armor bonuses even though we don't need them. We're maxed out at 200% armor. And then we're just gonna exit this level. And uh, that is it. That was showing you what to do and how to install it. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like this video, definitely uh, subscribe and like it. If you didn't like it, leave me feedback. I'm a new content creator and I can use all the positive or negative feedback I can get to improve my, my channel. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.